Post game with head coach Jim Penders. Huskies a 5-1 winner. They sweep the series here at ECU. Coach, uh, today you guys able to get the job done. Great starting pitching from Mason Fioli. You guys were able to capitalize on their mistakes offensively. Yeah, we didn't do a ton offensively, but we did. We capitalized. We hit a couple points. You know, Connor Moriarty was a beneficiary, hitting the ball hard, going the opposite field, which is something we preach. So that's process oriented, and, and uh, you know, the right fielder made a mistake. And everything we got, we got as a result of something that they gave us. But the fact that Mason was pitching the way he was, you know, he could play with a lot of confidence. You know, our guys, I felt like, played with a lot of confidence today. We were going first move on the lefty, he got us. You know, I mean, we got another guy picked off today, but that aggressiveness was there all weekend, and we were, you know, I love the way that we fought. What did you like most about the team's effort this weekend? Oh, just the fight. Just, you know, I mean, that's emblematic of the, our best teams. Our, our, you know, I'd like to think all of our teams have that husky fight, you know, and, and uh, uh, the toughness of us. You know, and no matter what, and, you know, I, don't, I don't know what our record is right now, we're always going to have the underdog mentality. And you can't take that away. You know, with three W's in the, in the conference, it doesn't mean anything until the end of the year, we got to continue to have that fight. Now the most important game is against Northeastern on Tuesday. How do you bottle this up moving forward here with hopefully five games at home this week? Yeah, you just you can't take the foot off the gas, and you know it's it's uh, hey we're going home now. It's unfamiliar, you know, um, and it, and it's tough to play at home for us. But we got to find a way to, to uh, you know take that mentality that we have on the road of, of being warriors and, and take it into our own yard and defend that yard. And uh, it'll be good to be home. Be good to be you know. With, Good to be sleeping in our own beds. Oh, that was about to say. <laughs> good to I was going to say, don't drink the poison. Uh, but good to be sleeping in our own beds for once. And uh, you know, nice day to trip. Hopefully we, can, hopefully we can get that game there at home. And uh, on Tuesday, if we can't, we'll be going to Northeastern because they have turf. They have a great facility. And finally, Coach, just managing the bullpen today. You knew you weren't going to have Johnny down there. Be able to get some outs from Sam and then Redu closing it out. Yeah, you know, pretty cool. Uh, Sam comes in. You know, he was up a lot yesterday. And, you know, he didn't have his fastball, but he finds a way to compete. You know, he's flipping 82, 83 up there, whatever it was. I think it was maybe a little bit harder than that, but, but he finds a way to compete. He's never, the moment's never bigger. You know, it's never big to him. He just does his job, and that's uh, that's really good. Ryan Redu, I mean, a year ago, not even, 11 months ago, he was throwing his first uh, pitches off of the mound in the bullpen. I, I, I videoed him for his mom um, and sent him to her that day. He wasn't throwing like he was today, but it was it was pretty cool that that, um, that he was able to finish out the game today. I thought he deserved better yesterday, and then today he wanted the ball again, and, and it was very fitting that he closed out. And that coaching staff over there, class acts, you know, the assistant manager, your assistant coaches, um, and they, his name escapes me, he said something in the handshake line about how nice it was to see Ryan do out there, first class organization all the way from this Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Chris.